beauties my name is Jazz welcome back to my channel if you guys are new here I discuss everything fashion beauty and lifestyle today we have a dupe video dupe or nah dupe or nah <laughs> but I haven't done one of these videos in a long time because I feel like for a little while I wasn't finding the best dupes but now I have some really good dupes and I am excited to share I'm like drinking my coffee I'm sorry guys because I need the energy but um, I have some handbags I have some shoes but the two handbags that I wanted to show you guys I wanted to actually order them because I was like these are really good and I want to see what the people are saying or are they like are they lying like is it really like a dupe dupe so I ordered two of the bags that I'm like really excited to share with you guys the first two things and then everything else are really good dupes and good options for things that are you know around and costly so Without further ado, let's get to the bags, the handbags. There's just two. I'm saying it like there's a billion. There's just two. But the first one, the, well, these first two, I actually saw them on TikTok. And TikTok is the devil. As you guys know, like you're scrolling and you're just buying like things. But these were so good that um, I wanted to share. So the first one I saw, I was like, like when I saw this, and when you guys see it, you're going to be like, like, um... Somebody's about to get sued. <laughs> like, literally, I was like, and then when I opened this, I was like, um, it's giving, it's giving, this is the real deal, but, you know, it is, it is a dupe, of course, it's not the real thing, it's not, I mean, it's, it's teetering rep, rep club, but I wanted to share because, if you guys are not familiar, let's just, let's just talk about what this is first. So, if you guys are not familiar with the Loewe puzzle bag, this is a dupe for that. Um, I got this off of Amazon. If you're not aware, the actual true puzzle bag is about, I want to say like, the last time I looked at it was like 3500 And actually, the way they do, uh, puzzle bag is on my luxury wish list. Like, not my recent one, like the one from last year. And then I kind of just got away from it. And not because I don't love it, but because I just got other things. And then, you know, then I got my uh, St. Laurent envelope flap. And then I, you know, I went on to the Gucci, um horse bit and then I just kind of like I don't want that anymore <laughs> it's not on the top of my mind um, but if you haven't known if you don't know they actually redesigned the Loewe puzzle bag so the original puzzle bag with all the small puzzle pieces they no longer make and I believe the newer one kind of looks like this um, which all in all it's costing Loewe less to make the bag but costing us more to buy the bag so the quality is kind of dipping so a lot of people want the old puzzle bag that will probably be on resale like on fashion file or the real real so when I saw this one shared on um, on TikTok, and somebody didn't even have this color the ones I only saw was like the gray like pebble color which is really really pretty as well but when I saw this one this color I was like you know let me order it like you know sixty sixty nine dollars seventy dollars is a lot on Amazon because you know you like I'm always looking for cheap things on Amazon but when I opened it I have been like I am so impressed with this like look at the color like look at the color the size the quality I mean I mean the dupe is duping like it's it, it's it's duping and I hate to say it but I'm like $69 $3,600 $68 $3,500 $3, you know we have to cut our losses but this is actually like really really cool um of course I love the way they I purchased from the brand but this is a really good dupe so I just got it today and actually in the mail um it zippers it has a zipper on it and it does come with a strap um the strap is as, as you can see it's in the plastic it seems pretty long I'll be honest I probably will just carry it like this and I was so excited to get this because I don't have a bag this color actually and now I think you know I'm not really a handbag girl but now I feel like I am actually covered on all hand ends of the spectrum for handbags like I have this I have the Brahmin I have the Gucci horse bit I am done and when I show you the next thing you're gonna know why I'm done too but this is this is this is good it's really, really good. Um, it comes in the gray pebble stone color. It comes in black and it comes in this color as well. And yeah, and if you turn to the back of it, it has like the zipper here. Um, it actually has like these little feet. Oh my God. Whew. Uh, absolutely. Yeah. 
you know, one thing I can get you guys to do, I think, is to buy things. And this is definitely, like, it was an immediate yes. And I'm actually quite impressed with this. So if you're thinking about it, and even too, like, even if you want to buy a Real Away Bay puzzle bag or you want to buy, I forget the name of the other bag that's out right now that's really cute. This is a cool way to actually try to see if you like the style, to see if you like, because of course it's not genuine leather, but of course it's a good time to see if you like the style, if you like how it fits you, if you feel like you want to invest. So sometimes people knock the dupes, but sometimes the dupes can tell you if you really want to invest in the real thing. So you may want to invest in this so you can see, you know what? It is worth my $3,500 and I do want to have the quality of the leather, but if you just want it for now and you just like it, go for it. On Amazon, I will link it down below. Three colors. So impressed. I couldn't believe when I opened it. I was like, wow. Because I was thinking if it sucked, I was going to return it, but I'm actually into it. So that's the first thing. The next thing I learned, I saw this, and you guys know I love Charles and Keith. I have my little fuzzy shoes that some of you guys hate those shoes. <laughs> some of you guys love those shoes. I love them. They're comfortable and they're cool. But always check out check out Charles and Keith if you're looking for fun, cool things. I'm actually going to share a few other things, items from them. But I feel like they always have something fun and cool. And again, it's not expensive. So I saw this. And what, what do you immediately think? What do we think? We, we're, we're getting Chanel. All we're missing is Chanel logo. And I'll be honest, I'm only speaking for myself. I, I can't afford Chanel. I cannot. And if, maybe you are watching this and you can, but, but there are other options in like other luxury brands. There's this fabulous dupe here that we have going here. Now, when I saw this, I immediately had to have it. Now, a few things. It's the double chain. I feel like on Charles and Keith, it's called the double chain. I forget what it's called, the double chain bag or hobo bag? I don't know what it's called. But it comes with these two chains on the front of it. It's a decent size. Um, it, I think it's fabulous. It comes in multiple colors. So it's this one, the black, because I'm just a, a black. I just love black. Um, black, I believe it comes in like a reddish burgundy, and I think it comes in blue. So I was like, oh, I definitely want the black. Um, and then it comes with this removable strap. Now, one thing I love about the strap, first when I opened it, I was like, this strap is so long, it looks kind of awkward. <laughs> but it has these two clips, he this clip thing here, where you can shorten it. So I shorten it so I have a little bit, this is like a little Charles and Keith Hart, I have a little bit of this hanging. So you can kind of just wear it like this, you can kind of wear it on your shoulder like that. Um, or you can just kind of hold it where it's just, I just think it's really, really cool. Now, when you open the bag, it's pretty spacious inside. Um, it has a lot of space. You could dump whatever you want in here. Of course, there's some paper. Um, but it also comes with this little pouch, which I thought was really cool. So it comes with this pouch. I love these because I always, when I have a big bag, even my Caperni heart toe, I'm always looking for uh, something just to toss my things in, like lip glosses, you know, sanitizer. So it's not just hanging, especially for a bag like this that doesn't really have compartments. It does have a zipper in the back. But this is cool to kind of put in here and you can use it for your other bags. I just thought like, you know, for the price, for what we're getting, it's an all around win. Um, so definitely check it out. Um, these are what I have for handbags. Like I'm obsessed. Like I like now I am covered on the handbag tip. Like I have this bag, this bag, the ramen bag, the Gucci bag, like I'm, I'm done. If you see me buying another bag, tell me not to because I have it all covered. So next, um, I want to share a pair of sunglasses that you probably guys already have because I know some of you are so savvy But I want to share them anyway because they're such a good dupe. So sunglasses and then I'll show you some shoes and you know Let's keep going. I actually wanted to share um, two other handbags from Amazon that I got and I'll, these are old um, But I pretty much love like this Jody Bottega style bag um, I have to find these I'll be honest. I feel like Bottega like once something is really good, but take a dupe, it, it kind of goes off and then you can't find it. Um, so I have these two, which is like the white, like patent one, which I love. I love this one and like the black one. I actually love this bag. I, one thing I love about it so much, and I shared it in a recent reel and people loved it, um, because it has like no hardware, so you can literally wear whatever you want. So these are these two, um, but a black owned business that I came across called The Vault, they have these two um, bags in leather, a gold metallic and a silver metallic that I saw. 
um, and they're genuine leather and I actually want the silver one and it's giving Bottega dupe bag and I was like you know what that's a really good dupe as well um, and actually I probably will go for the one at the vault which is I believe a black owned business and get that one because at least it's genuine leather um, this is not um, it's not like I mean it works for what it's supposed to do I'm not complaining but it's not leather and then this one is patent so if you like this kind of style definitely check out the vault and if I could find these on um, I was like wait I feel something my lipstick that I could not find um, <laughs> but if you um, if I can't find these two on Amazon definitely check out the vault because those are genuine leather and it comes with the gold metallic and the silver metallic which is great for the holiday season so I wanted to share that first um, because I forgot about these um, so the next dupe um, which you've probably seen I actually tried these glasses on in Paris um, these We'll take a Duke Sunnies, and if I find the video, I'll put it here. Now, of course, as you know, when I went to Paris, Paris is just a vibe, and I just feel like you go everywhere. Everything is just made to feel like you want to buy it, I'll be honest. So I tried these on. Um, in Bottega and there I believe they retail for about like 400 Of course, I would have got the that back, which would have made them like, I want to say a little less than 400 And I love them because I love shades that you can wear inside but I remembered I was like before you buy these I remembered that there was an Amazon dupe and I found them and I ordered them from Amazon and then save that money for something else that I bought in Paris but these are a fantastic dupe I wore them in this picture I will say like comparing these to the ones I tried the actual true Bottega ones I feel like these are a little bit more smoky um, you can still wear them inside, but I will say I felt like the ones from Bottega were a lot more trans translucent. That's the word I'm looking for. They were a lot more translucent, but as far as like the shape on the side and the actual like aesthetic, I actually love them because they go with so much. And even with what I'm wearing today, if I wanted to go out, they're just easy, they're light. And sometimes like a lot of my glasses, I love them, but sometimes they're so heavy that you find yourself taking them on and off and these you can kind of just wear throughout your day but I will say comparing to the actual true Bottegas that I tried these are a little bit more smoky but still still a vibe nonetheless so I definitely wanted to share these dupes okay so let's get to some shoes now um you guys love this shoe that I had got from Zara which is like the Givenchy shark boot dupe um I believe they came back in stock in Zara I will link them if they did um these are great and I wasn't even I actually hate those Givenchy shark boots um, so I was so surprised that I love these, but I love these and I, I hate those. So I feel like all the dupes I've been seeing of that boot, I like better than the Givenchy and there's so many. There's the ones from like Macy's Inc. Um, that the girls love. I believe that heel's just like a lot higher. Um, Zara actually made like another shark boot dupe in like a beige khaki color, which is really great. Um... And then of course you guys know that I have, not I have, but I shared the ones from Urban Revival which is a great dupe for that boot as well. So if these from Zara are no longer available, they're definitely um, options for you to kind of get this feel. But I just love them because I feel like they make a statement. These from Zara are so comfortable. I wore them walking around in Paris and my feet were comfortable. So I was excited about these. So if they come back in stock, I will definitely link them. Um, so the next thing I wanted to share, I was on Charles and Keith again, of course, and I saw so many like good dupes dupes um not ones that I particularly love for myself but um you guys know those Prada flats from Prada that have that little butterfly thingy on them like a, it's like kind of like a prism pop-up they have these from Charles and Keith which is a great option if you love those flats I feel like they're an amazing option also um these shoes I actually tried on in Paris are from Ferragamo these patent like heels with the the heels kind of cool where it kind of pokes in but when I tell you I tried those Ferragamo shoes and they were the most uncomfortable shoe that I tried on like my mom was like, how do they feel? I'm like, because the sales associate was like, they're so comfortable. They're so, co like, they're so good. I'm like, okay, let's try them on. Tried them on. They hurt. And you know if they hurt in the store, you're not going to make them walking anywhere. So um, this is also a great dupe from Charles and Keith as well. Now, going along with the shoes, you know Steve Madden. Steve Madden always has the dupes. So what can I say? He always has the dupes. So these flats I saw. Wait, is that my door? Sorry guys, hold on, my Instacart's here, hold on. Sorry guys, back to our friend Steve Madden. So Steve Madden, I actually want these Ghani flats, but I don't want to pay $350 like, for them. So these flats from Ghani, I want them like in snake, but again, I'm not sure, I like with flat shoes, and I was like, I don't know if I want to spend $300. 
of course, Steve Madden. Here he comes with these flats. Now, the only reason I haven't ordered these is because he doesn't have snake skin, and that's what I wanted, but he has them in the black patent, red patent, which I love red, you guys know. So I was like, that's a cool option and a great flat. And I just feel like these, if you're gonna do flats, I like these because at least you get a little buckle, you get a little shape, um, where it's not so... I hate to say sad, like I, I hate those uh, the Chanel Balmain ones because I just feel like they look a little sad. At least these are a little like funky and fun. So he has these. Um, of course, what other ones does Steve Madden has? He has these. So I love these. I believe these are a Mew Mew um, dupe. Um, he has these flats which has like the ballerina strap. And I also, one of these, my best friend got these from Mango. And I love them. They were so cute. And then when like I found them in the store and then they were her size and not mine. So she, she, she took them. And I didn't get them. And then, of course, every time they said they came on stock online, they were not available. But I thought these are really great options from Steve Madden if you are looking for a cute flat trend. And, guys, I think that's all my, my dupes. I just thought about it. Yeah, those are all my dupes, which is like a goodie, a good amount of dupes to get us through. I feel like the next round of dupes, um, let me know um, which dupe was your favorite. I feel like the bags have made a chokehold because I'm like, am I going to wear that? I feel like I'm wearing that Lil Wave dupe bag for like brunch today because it's really cute or the Charles and Keith. But definitely check out Charles and Keith if you are looking for cool things. I love them over there. And let me know what your favorite dupe was. Um, of course, when I find other things, we'll do another one of these videos. But be sure to like this video and subscribe. And until next time, guys, be safe and be well. Bye.